Hi, welcome back to my channel. Me with the empty shelves. Why do I have an empty shelf again? Well, it's because I just completed this puzzle, Iron Horse number nine, which is what this video is going to consist of. So I'm gonna start the video by showing you a slideshow. Then I will show you the pickup test. And then I will show you the next part of the video. I'm going to do a pickup challenge for Iron Horse number nine, which is a Machizo jigsaw puzzle. I love these puzzles. I think I own eight now. This is my second one. Now, two or three, I think two of the puzzles, maybe three that I own from Machizo are from Depot Street. The other ones are Gamesis. And then the other brand is Simply Straight Machizo. So Machizo does have some sub brands. This is a um, uh, this is a Street Depot or Depot Street brand, and it's called Iron Horse Number no. Nine, and it's a portrait jigsaw puzzle. As you can see, I'm going to lay it down with absolutely no problem. Uh, let's see if we can get it back on there. So there you see it in all its glory. I will take a single picture of it and combine it with another video that I made and get this bad boy posted for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. So I thought I would just talk a little bit about brands and my love of jigsaw puzzles. For years, I collected primarily three brands. Maybe 95 to even 98% of the puzzles I owned were from White Mountain, Buffalo, or Ravensburger. There was the Odd Seco puzzle in there, the Odd Suns Out, the Odd Bits and Pieces, and maybe one or two other brands that I only had one or two of. But I go to this group it's one of my Facebook groups that I belong to, and they also have chats on Sunday nights and Thursday nights. And in these chats, we talk what? Puzzles. We share our puzzles. We share our love of puzzles. We share what we bought, what we want to buy, and what we love. So we talk puzzles. Okay, now I want to tell you the story. I'm not going to tell you the story in order but I'll tell you about the brand in three little sections. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna tell you the story in order. Okay, they started talking about comparing Ravensburger to a brand named Schmidt. And as of that moment in time, I had no Schmidt puzzles. I think now I have four, I just had to look up there. I have four, but at that moment I had zero. Then, Steve, and, uh, Steve, Ryan says, and the Machezo brand, that's a good brand too. And I'm like, Machezo, never heard of it. So he pulls out two puzzles, one of which was this one, the happiest kid in the world. And everybody but me did it in that group at that moment in time on that particular live, Facebook live, everybody had done that puzzle. So I run over to, Amazon and I buy it and I said Stephen there's another excuse me Stephen Ryan there's another one staying up all night he goes oh I have that too we did that too so I buy that one so 
I stay on the site. Nothing else really appeals to me at that moment in time, but this one did. Oh, I should tell you this. Although these are Machezo brand puzzles, that's the mother company, you'll notice on the bottom of the box it says Gamesis. And I guess Machezo has different sections of their company, and one of them is Gamesis. So I've got these two Gamesis puzzles. But I kept looking on Amazon, and then I saw that Machezo has this Gradient Moon, no other sub company, just Machezo. And since I am collecting gradient puzzles, I cannot even tell you how many gradients. Like, for example, I just bought this Ravensburger gradient puzzles. I might have 10 by now. So then there's one behind me, a Lego gradient one. So anyway, I hear about this brand. And I have to buy this puzzle. So I bought it. Okay. That's one week of the chat. We come back to the chat. And Ryan goes, look, everybody, look what I got. What is that, I say? This is Iron Horse Number 9 by Jim Begley. Now, Jim Begley has a, quite a few puzzles on the Machizo brand, but now notice it says Depot Street. So there's a, another section of the company where they make different puzzles, and now they're talking about this. Now, I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Ryan says, oh, there's another one out there you might like. Country Store at Night. So, I bought that one. I'm going to just hold it kind of at an angle to avoid as much glare as possible. But anyway, it's Country Store at Night. Another Jim Bagley puzzle. So, they come in the mail. And I'm telling the group, because remember, we meet on Sunday. We meet on Thursday. The next group chat happens. And Don says, well, if you like Jim Begley, he's got another one out there you might like. And it's called Sidewalk Treasures. So I go and buy that one. Sidewalk Treasures. Another Depot Street. Now, again, Jim Begley has more than this. And they're all on Amazon. And I'm going to link that Machezo store in my description below. So we start talking that night. And they said, you know, there's more in the Game Assist brand that you may not have yet. So, back to Amazon I go, and I find Dawn of Video Games. By the way, oh, well, let me show you this and I'll show you something else. I also find Paintball, paint, oh, excuse me, Pinball Invasion. Now, I don't know the order, but one is 60s, one is 70s, one is 80s, and one is 90s. I think I might just put a little sticker to remind myself because I never remember the order. But now I've got all the generational ones. So I've got three Jim Begley. These generational ones. And Gradient Moon. So I just wanted to share my experience with the Machezo brand. Because... I am learning about other brands. Like I mentioned, I have Schmidt. Now I have more Anatolian. I have, uh, uh, what is that up there? Ibu. And I'm sure other brands are gonna kind of weasel their way in. And I'm going to keep checking out different brands. Now, the reason that I wanted to show you all of these puzzles, the Gradient Moon, and Iron Horse number nine and the other ones is because the price point, $12.99, $13.99, maybe up to $14.99. Now, if you look at Ravensburger, which I love, and I think I own 35 or 40 of those, they're 26, 27, 35, even $50 per puzzle, okay? These are less than $15 per puzzle. The quality is incredible. And if you look at the piece, look at how thick that piece is. You see that? Thick, as you saw already, passes the pickup test. Incredible, right? Well worth me sharing with you. And I hope, I really hope that you head over to the Machezo store 
as I will be going back there because there's seashells, there's Mandela rocks, there's like maybe 10 or 12 more that I don't have. And I think some of those ones that I don't have are by uh, Jim Begley. And I want to get as much of his art as I can because his art is exceptional. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.